So hi guys, today I'm going to do a short test of the DJI ND filter set for the Osmo Pocket 3. So this filter set comes in ND1664 and uh, ND256. So basically the image you're seeing now is set at full auto. The ISO I believe is the minimum 50. The shutter speed uh, from what I see just now is 1 over 2000 which is super high. The next image will be set to manual where I will set my, my shutter speed to 1 over 50 and the ISO to the minimum. Okay now uh, exposure is manual on the Osmo Pocket 3. Uh, shutter speed 1 over 50, uh, filming in 4K 25 frames per second and the ISO is the minimum 50. So exposure metering is now uh, plus 1.7. So now I'm going to fix the ND16 so you'll see how much you will decrease the metering. So this is ND16, uh, still pretty blown out. Exposure metering is plus 1.0 now, so uh, doesn't do much at these uh, manual settings. So. I'm going to remove the ND now. So now I'm going to fit ND64. So this is ND64, which I believe it looks pretty good now. Uh, you can see the contrast of the cloud, uh, not much overexposed and the metering is now minus 0 0.3 which is pretty good i would say for these uh, manual settings so i believe this will be the most common nd filter that will be used for the pocket 3 but nonetheless i'm going to test the nd256 Okay, so now I'm going to install ND256 on the Pocket 3 and I believe the image is going to be very dark especially for the building So yep, this is ND256 on the Pocket 3 Contrast for the cloud still looks pretty good but the building you can see is very dark uh, I will have to check up my ISO to compensate the exposure metering is now minus 2.3 to minus 2.7 so yeah hope you like this uh, test and i hope uh, it provides some information to you and uh, as usual please enjoy using your pocket tree cheers